Hey there guys, good morning. I have a little video here it has to do with NOE expander plugs. Um, this is, I use, the ones I usually buy for NOE, they are solid. And I have them for, you know, for all my, all my rifles, the 308, the 450, but I got from all of them. Um, for the pistols, this is the first time I'm buying for the pistols because I have the Lyman die. But these work better than the M die that comes with the Lyman. A um, whole lot better. So, um, this is my problem I'm having. Um, would I buy these again? No. Um, these are designed to work with uh, Lee powder through dies. I don't see W did a video on this. This is a over travel ring. I don't see much help with it. Um, where's the other ones? These are the two, what are these things called? A uh, adapter. Powder through expansion adapter comes in a tool pack. It, it it does help to pick up the slack. Um, if he would have made these plugs longer, this would not be needed. Um, so here is my problem coming up. 44 Magnum. I do have the solid for the 44, but um, it was too big when I first time got it. But I got the finally I got the correct size now, so I'll use them to size them. This is the through die. You see that little step in there? That's kind of a pretty thick step, but it's not bad for here because it's designed for the lead. If you look at the lead powder measure. You see the thickness on that? So let's see, this is about the thickness of that. So that's fine. Let me put that out, that out of the way. So I have no problem with this. Um, I try to make this work with my Hornady using a, a, a adapter that I was working on. Um, I spent hours last night trying to figure this thing out. Um, I got it to work. So it's like, okay, great. It'll work for this. But then now I'm stuck with two that I cannot use. And this is the reason why. Now that PTX setting for horn is not the greatest to set up neither. That's more of a headache than anything else. Here goes for the um, 358. No, where is it? Uh, this is for the 38, 357 Magnum. And this one here is the same size, but this one is for the um, auto, which is the 9mm or the 380. And they both got the same problem. I can get this thing open. Alrighty. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Sheesh. Try not to break the little bag. This is a short one here, and let me show you the other one. Can't mix them out because they're both different, even though they're the same size. Try to get my point across here. All right, see? Uh, they're different. They're both the same diameter, but one is shorter for the same reason, shorter case. I find this length here kind of excessive, but, you know, it is what it is. This is the problem complaint here. Look at the mass of meat is inside there. Um, this is what you're going to see. Let me use a this adapter and you'll see it, what I'm talking about. That's... An, this was not well planned. Okay. 
I don't worry about that step there because it's about the same thickness as the shaft there. But let's say this is the shaft going into this. Once you put it in here, look at that huge step on the bottom. This first step here, let me bring it closer. That first step there, let's say this is the powder measure. Look at that step in there. That's going to accumulate so much powder that you're going to end up overcharging in every single one of them. You're never going to get this to empty out. The same thing goes for this. They say that's uh, this is the powder measure when you drop in. It's the same thing. You should have made one of these things tapered like that. It'll pick up that slack and it'll be nice and even with that hole in the bottom. So for that, I would have just purchased the uh, solid ones and forget about the hollows. And that's what's going to be the case. I purchased it figuring... You know, this will be, you know, good for the idea that I had. I made I, I made it to work with the 44 caliber. But, I mean, I have enough material if I can make two more in different lengths. Because these are different sizes. But it's useless to me because of this. And the reason then with the Hornady, the PTX they make, that is only for jacket and bullet, not for cast. So, uh, waste of money pretty much. That's the way I see it. But I'll keep them because uh, I'll continue doing what I normally do. Size them, size them. I mean, mouth flare them separately on the press and then set it up on a progressive and charge on a progressive. I use the progressive for the pistols only, not the rifle. So I'll continue doing two steps. I figure I could uh, mouth flare and drop the charge at the same time. But at this point, this is not the case. Um, yeah, not too happy with it. Last night I was so frustrated I want to send everything back. But um, I just set it up manually. You know, no, this I'll never use this to drop powder with because it's useless so like I said I should have stuck with the solid ones but um yeah alright guys that's all I have and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye